Hello and welcome to Dexter and Right TCG. Um, I am here, the doctor episode, for trying to help you guys uh, playing DBS right now. Figure out which is the best leaders for the different shells out there uh, that came about from Mecha Frieza. So we've got um, GT, uh, the GT package. We've got the Veggies package. And we've got the Great Apes package. package. So uh, we'll just kind of take them one at a time. Um, so I apologize if the um, title of the video is kind of misleading, but uh, we're gonna do each. There's not a there's not a leader that is the best for all of them at the same time. Um, there's just a, a a leader for apes, a leader for, you know, uh, the different strategies. And I kind of cheated on uh, the veggies, but anyways. <clears throat> so, first and foremost, we're going to go and look at which is the best leader for the apes, the great apes. And uh, this is actually an old leader. Um, I think people have slept on this leader uh, because <clears throat> if you think about it, one of the best things about apes is running Planet Vegeta. Now, not only does Planet Vegeta search you for a Saiyan, but it also restands all your guys at the end of turn, all your apes. And <clears throat> while that's huge, is because uh, you know it allows you to attack and then restand at the end of turn, so you have all your blockers available to do blocky things. <clears throat> And so, um, taking some of the inherent power, like you playing the deck, it, say you play it, say you're playing um, uh, apes, and you play the deck without, or you, you you have it in the deck, but you don't wind up finding your planet Vegeta. The deck doesn't feel as good. Um, it doesn't feel as smooth as it should. Um, and you're losing one of the best abilities of untapping your dudes. So what leader untaps dudes? That would be Frieza, the, the Galactic Emperor. Um, and so <clears throat> it's an old Frieza that on his front side, he untaps a dude at the end of turn. On the back side, he untaps two dudes. So <clears throat> if you look at it, Frieza is kind of like the um, Planet Vegeta that is able to restand, and therefore, more times than not, you're probably going to have the at least the blocker ones at uh, two to three on the board. So that'll help untap two at least two of those blockers. Um, so that way, you can keep getting in there for uh, damage and then restanding. So I think that is highly uh, un overlooked. Uh, and the reason why we even, I even came up with this concept to begin with was because uh, there's been a lot of discussion of like, you know, what's the best leader for veggies? And it was just like, uh, you know, you take this leader and you insert, you know, the package in there. And so we had to come up with something that I was like, there, there has to be a better thing than just like, uh, insert leader. So we can't do that, right? We just have like, there's, there's, there's gotta be better leaders for better things. You know, um, I got asked, well, is, is Burris, you know, Blue Burris, is that good with uh, apes? And they're two totally different <laughs> types of decks. Burris is very much control and apes is uh, basically aggro slash mid range. Um, but yeah, so uh, with all that said, now we're gonna go to veggies. And veggies, I kind of cheated. I got three different uh, leaders. Technically four, but I'm gonna explain uh, why uh, it's technically only three. So uh, first <clears throat> is Pan or Khalifla. Uh, the red Khalifla and Pan, uh, if you think about it, those allow the veggies to hit the numbers that you need because both um, Khalifa is a 20k 
and kills a 20k. So <clears throat> the current uh, the current green package. Um, and so even Kaba being a 10k pan and and Khalifla allows it to be a 15k so it can actually attack your opponent's leader on the backside. So um, Pan and Khalifla both hit the numbers that you want, but Pan's a better card because it allows you to draw off those um, as well. So <clears throat> So I think the edge goes to Pan in that regard, uh, but I could see the argument for either one because uh, Khalifa gives it to uh, the entire team. Um, so uh, very close one on that one, uh, but I think the edge goes to Pan. Uh, next is if you were doing the green only package and not the green red package, which is what I think will evolve once the new cards come out, uh, because uh, that deck is, it, there, there's a, a good amount of uh, Kaba, uh, the, the new Kaba, the new Khalifa, and the new Kale. Um, there's, all three of them are really strong cards. Uh, and so I don't see a reason not to splash the red and make it a green red package instead of mono green. But if you wanted to stay uh, primarily green, then, um, I would recommend Mira. I think Mira is a great um, uh, sh uh, leader for that deck. Um, not only do you get the card draw on the front, but you also get crit on the back, uh, so you can you know end the game and uh, be able to uh, keep pressure on your opponent without giving them cards. So fantastic uh, ability. And then lastly. <clears throat> We got a highly underrated card um, that nobody will think about, much like the first one for apes, Frieza. Nobody, nobody thinks about Frieza anymore. Um, this one's actually a relevant, a new, newer card, but not really talked about, and that's Vegito, the green Vegito. And the reason why I think green Vegito is fantastic for the um, veggies package, it might be actually the best one. Here's why is green inherently is good at board control uh, and it's good at hand control and the way that uh, Vegito is <clears throat> on his flip side is basically if there are no cards in the battle area on your opponent's side of the field you get to hit for 25k double strike and that's without any combos and I think that's gonna be the key because Kale by herself, the four drop green Kale, um, does a decent amount of board control as it is. And then the new Kale, the five drop um, red Kale, also does board control. Um, and it's a whole board white. So uh, for the most part, I mean, you have to be under 25K, but still, <clears throat> uh, they, um, work in ha fantastic together. Uh, so if you have that and those those cards together, I think the green Vegito is actually a fantastic um, uh, leader to run with those cards. Uh, they they do so much uh, together. The green package just keeps the board in, in control, and then <clears throat> uh, your leader can then bash in for a whole lot. So. Uh, really good on that one. And then lastly, we got to talk about GT. And GT serve, <clears throat> G, GT suffered the most from the Mecha ban, uh, or not ban, but errata. And uh, that was the most explosive slash, uh, I guess, dangerous one because like it could win on turn one or turn, turn two pretty consistently. Uh, if you if the opponents didn't have the negates But overall the GT package is still a decent package, you know, it's the focus on the um, GT Goku and a couple of the trunks GTs with the pan uh, combination pan um, so um, That shell there's not like a best 
I, I, there's not a, a leader that's just like, oh, this one's so much better than the others. But I think Pan is probably still the best one because it still allows you to hit the numbers. Because uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, cards that um, are come in as 20Ks. And so the 5K buff hits the number. 25K, that's what you want to hit. Um, and then you also still get to draw cards. So um, while I don't think that... If you, if you took Pan and you compared it to the deck that I have versus the GT package version, I still think card for card that the card, the way that I have the deck built, I think is slightly better. Um, just because you don't need to have, um, like the, the Goku package, like you have to have the Gokus, right? Um, unless you're paying a bajillion and a half mana, which if you get to six and, you know, six mana, congratulations. But uh, more times than not, <clears throat> you know, uh, having a lower curve um, helps. So I think the reason, the way I have uh, pan built right now is probably the best way to have pan built. But if you're going to run the GD package, I think that pan is, is probably the best leader for that. So uh, if you guys have any other questions, um, please leave those down in the bottom and I will try to get those as soon as I can. But thanks you guys for watching. You guys have a good day.